Hey goalies, I'm Mike, goalie specialist here at Total Goalie. In this video, let's take a look at how to properly fit a goalie chest protector. Determining the goalie's wingspan and height are the first steps in fitting a chest and arm protector. To do this, take a cloth tape measure and hold the beginning of the tape in one hand. Stretch your arms out to the side as far as you can, then grab the other end of the tape measure between your thumb and forefinger at the farthest point that you can reach. The number that the goaltender grabs between his thumb and forefinger is the wingspan measurement. Next, determine the goalie's height by having the goalie stand with his or her back against a wall. Measure from the floor to the highest point of the head and note this measurement. Once you have determined these two measurements, consult the sizing chart of the chest and arm pad that you are interested in to determine the proper size. Though oftentimes the wingspan and height measurements are the same, it is important to confirm both measurements as different manufacturers use different criteria when determining size. Once the goalie has been sized and a few product candidates have been chosen, confirm the proper fit by looking for the following. The arm pad should terminate approximately one inch behind your wrist bone or right around the area where a watch is worn. Arm pads extending past your wrist will not allow your wrist to flex properly and pads that are too short will open up gaps and protection between the arm and the glove padding. Next, take note of the spot where the chest pad ends on the goalie's body. If fit properly, the bottom of the chest pad should end at the goalie's belt line. This will ensure that the goalie has adequate coverage and that the unit will allow the goalie to bend freely at the waist. Third, inspect the neck and shoulder area. The shoulders should fit comfortably under both shoulder caps and the padding under the shoulder floater should sit squarely on the goalie's shoulders. There should be enough space around the neck to allow the unit to move somewhat, but not enough so that the unit slips forward or to either side very easily. One thing to note, all chest and arm protectors have a neck guard style pad that sits at the base of the neck. This pad is meant to help protect the neck area, but it is not a neck guard. This pad should actually sit a few inches below the neck so that it rises up to the neck area as the goalie bends over in his stance position. It is common and recommended that a separate snug fitting neck guard is worn underneath the chest and arm pad to both protect the clavicle and the neck itself. Finally, take a look at the elbow padding. The elbow cap should fit squarely into the elbow padding. Most units feature adjustable lacing in the elbow pads which allow for micro adjustments to be made for a proper fit. Once you have confirmed that the pads fit the goalie's body, the next step is to make sure that the chest and arm pad works with the goalie's existing pants and head protection. Before you go shopping, make sure to bring these two items with you so that you can get the best sense of how the new chest and arm pad will work with your gear. First, let's take a look at the pants. Chest and arm protectors are worn in one of two ways, inside of the pants or outside of the pants. Regardless of how the goalie prefers to wear them, it's a good idea to try both the chest and arm pad and the goalie's pants on together to make sure that the protection is adequate, that there are no mobility issues, and that the new unit functions well with the goalie's existing equipment. Next, check to see how the mask works with the new chest and arm protector. Due to the height and size variations of the shoulder floaters and neck protection on different units, it's a good idea to wear your goalie mask or helmet when confirming your fit. Turn your head from side to side and move your head up and down to make sure that the chin of the mask and helmet does not get hung up on the padding of the chest and arm protector. Keep in mind that minor adjustments can be made to the fit of the chest and arm protector by adjusting the back straps of the unit. In the advanced models, the height of both the shoulder floaters and the belly pad can be customized by simply adjusting the straps here on the back. Thanks for watching one of our How to Fit Goalie Gear videos. For more information on our products, including fitting guides and buying guides, please visit us at totalgoalie.com. Thanks for watching.